Hi everybody, how's it going? Check out that view. See the moon? <laughs> Little moon. Awesome, isn't it? I'm gonna do an up here at this time, half past eight at night. I haven't been up here this late since I don't know, actually there's one night I remember particularly listening to Fat Boy Slim. But tonight I'm listening to Ryan Rose and David Icke, the third interview. It's interesting stuff. Have a listen, give it 15 minutes, see what you think. It's a bit bonkers, but it could be true, who knows? <laughs> anyway, yes up here late tonight because I've been working on a business plan. It's been an interesting day actually. I started the day outside in the sun which is my favourite way to start the day. A cup of coffee and I watched my friend Ilana Jean's video. She started a new Facebook page called Ilana Jean Distinction No Less. I'll try and remember to put a link in this so you can check it out. She um, She's being business brave. <laughs> she's the general manager at Crofters and I've, I've been working with her for a year and a half maybe. Let me think. No, it was probably July last year that I started working with her, so not quite a year, but I've known her for years and years and years. She's, she's a friend and I think I first got to know her when she was 15 on stage for Guys and Dolls. She had a dancing part and I had a part as well. Anyway, she's starting a new kind of mentoring, coaching business that's very personal. She's charting the growth of herself really as she grew into the job of general manager at, at Crofters which is a busy little restaurant in Brodick which is the main village on the Isle of Arran and she and I have been working together really in a content creation capacity social media I've been working for the restaurant doing the social media and she's a great person to work with anyway as part of her new channel, she's doing daily live streams where she talks about what her channel's going to be about, really. It's only just begun. And she's been studying under a mentor herself. What does she call herself? A breakthrough and personal and business breakthrough coaching, something like that. Her name's Annie Howarth. And I looked her up, I've had a little bit of dialogue with her. And today I downloaded her, her blueprint, which is a lead generation PDF that she has on her website. And I started writing down the, the first section, which is her CEO, which is an acronym for clearance, I can't remember what the other ones were. Engineering. I don't know, I can't remember. I only got as far as clearance. In fact, I only got as far as the first question in clearance, which was to do with goal setting. And the question was something along the lines of, are your goals too vague? And yes, they are. My goals are too vague. So. I wrote the question down, I started writing, which as you know, something I love to do. And trying to answer the question, which led me to the answer of, my goal is to reach a level of income that will allow my wife not to have to do her job anymore. Because at the moment, She's not enjoying it. 
to put it mildly. And if I set that as my goal, so it's not about me and the things that I want, although it is because that's something that I want, it's for her to be happy. And it's, it's kind of taken away the, the ego a little bit. Like yesterday, yesterday was her birthday and the day before I had to go shopping, which at this time of lockdown is something that I really don't enjoy because, well, all sorts of reasons really, but I always come back from the weekly shopping during lockdown feeling absolutely dejected. And so I wrote down in my journal, I planned it, I said I'm going to go shopping because we need to buy ingredients to make my wife's birthday cake and to make her a nice birthday dinner. So I took away the me, me, me thing and I put in someone else that I love. And it kind of worked, you know. So I set my goal and then I decided, well, I don't know how much I need to earn in order for that to happen. So that led to a business plan idea, which is something I've always known I should be doing. I mean, let's, let's look back. I started freelancing in, well, July, really last year, but full time in November. I've run a business in Brodick since 2008, and I did have to do a business plan then, but that was simply to pass the interview stage and to get a bank loan. After that, I never did any more plans or projections or KPIs or any of that stuff. I just bumbled along, you know. Whereas now, I'm perfectly aware that a business plan is an important thing for me to do, so I started to do it. And I thought to myself, right, do I, do I continue to go through the blueprint that I downloaded from Annie Howarth? Or do I and make a task so break down the business plan into little tasks which is a thing I know that works from having studied the bullet journal method and used OmniFocus as my digital planner for quite a long time I know about breaking things down into actionable steps okay so that was my question do I jump off and start doing the business plan thing now or do I make a list of tasks and then I decided I was going to do it now so that led to looking at some Google spreadsheets some templates some Excel templates as well then I tried to look at my data which I thought I had exported for last year turns out I'd exported the month of March and not the year. So that led to a waste of about 40 minutes trying to work out a way of reading my accounting files without a subscription to the software because it was very expensive. It was it's Account Edge Plus that I've been using since 2008. And a Clivity or Mammut, whoever it is that owns it, have stated that they're not going to be updating it for Mac OS Catalina. So that's the end of the road for that, which I kind of wanted to happen anyway. But it means I can't get to my data. So I changed tack, I went into Zero, which is my new bookkeeping software. And I started copying data into a spreadsheet and then I realized, hang on a minute, Zero can actually do the reports for me. And that was where I left it. I got as far as generating some reports and I'm actually feeling quite excited. Feeling quite business brave. <laughs> so that's that's been my day. And then I was just getting my shoes on to come out when another project reared its head and taught me about distractions and perspective because I got kind of grumpy. My daughter wanted to record herself playing French horn, audio and video, to submit to a 
project that she's involved with and she asked for my help and I was like, oh, I'm just going out. But I ended up helping her and actually achieving what we needed to do. She learned a little bit in the process and I got to use some skills which are very, very useful to have, which is audio editing. So, and then she gave me a big cuddle, which was worth it, you know. It was totally worth it. So now I do get my dog walk. It's late. The sun's going down, but look at that moon. That view behind me, spectacular. Uh, it means I didn't get a nice dinner. I actually just gobbled down some yogurt before I came out. But on that note, I'm actually managing to keep the psychic switch in my head in the off position. And I'm paleo. I have been now for 10 days, maybe. And I don't feel in any danger. I had a bit of a, an almost nearly yesterday because Freya made scones and I love scones and they were really good ones as well. And it was my wife's birthday. So it's like, almost like, oh, it's a birthday special occasion, but I didn't. So that's good. I had some mackerel today, some scrambled eggs, some yogurt, and I actually had some oat cakes at lunchtime just to use them up. I'm not going to do that again though because they're used up now so I'm expecting to start losing weight and the, the weight loss is an incentive even to come up here at this time of night when you know it's late and there's plenty of other things to do. So I'll leave it there. I'll thank you all for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.